rap songs Smagalicious mm. Beat love, beat love, beat love three times Make sure you like, share, and subscribe So y'all, I'm about to make my cabbage soup My famous cabbage soup, that is So this is the ingredients that I'm putting in my cabbage soup So you see, I have a whole thing of vegetables here Mixed veggies mushrooms i got the heavy whipped cream on deck i got the onions already chopped this is what y'all gotta do if y'all want to save some time i got the bell peppers i'm gonna um, chop these some more then i'm gonna add to it we got the cream of celery cream of mushrooms we have the five heads of cabbage because i'm making a big pot and then we have the chicken broth right here we have the um the smoked turkey legs I'm gonna put those in there and I'm gonna put them in the oven for about on three I got the oven set for 375 for about two and a half three hours and let them simmer really really well while this is all simmering and what else? the other two items that I don't have here is vinegar well, actually vinegar sugar and butter because I put that in my thing but it's just very little sugar probably a stick or two of butter and that's it Y'all know your girl loves seafood. Darius hates it. But no matter what's on your dinner table, my snack of sauce mix can make it taste better. Y'all come and eat. Mm, that's okay. I know what to do. My snack of sauce mix is the flavor that brings the family together. Order it on Amazon. This is the pot I'm using. This is a huge pot. Y'all see how big that pot is? That is huge. So I already got some chicken broth in there along with some um, seasoning mix. So you'll see that. And so all that's going to go in there. So it's going to be a huge pot and I freeze a lot of it because we love our soups here. Okay, y'all. I have rinsed off of my turkey legs. This is how they look. Yeah. These are the smoked turkey legs. Of course, you don't have to use smoke. And then I'm going to cover it with this foil. And then I am going to place it in my oven. I'm going to cover it kind of, I'm going to cover it twice, y'all, because I want this, it to get really, really um, steamy and hot in there. So I'm going to cover it twice. So I have it right here. Y'all, I'm using two hands, so. I'm using one hand because I am the camera person. So y'all know how that go. And you're working by yourself because everybody else is gone doing their own thing. My kids are gone. Everybody gone. Well, I think they're downstairs somewhere. I don't know. That Nate gone. Everybody gone. Okay, so. I got seasonings on the end. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. So I'm going to put this in the oven. Woo, that's heavy. Heavy, 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 heavy. Ooh. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I'm back like a snack attack. But anyways, I'm gonna show y'all the seasons. Now I know a lot of y'all may say that is too many seasonings, but y'all, my palate is cray cray. Anyways, I love a lot of seasoning and it works for me. So you don't have to use all these different seasons, but I use the garlic powder, onion powder, accent, old bay, cayenne, honey garlic, lemon pepper, white pepper, sazoon, tropical. Don't be sleep on that, baby. The fine ground black pepper, and I like it fine because there's something different about the fine. The finer it is, the more peppery that you could taste it. And I like that peppery taste at the end of the, the bite of the soup. And then you have the sazon. What y'all know about that sazon, y'all? What you know about that, okay? It makes it so flavorful. So these are all the seasonings that I'm using. You can use whatever seasonings and whatever flavors you want to use that may be good for your palate. I'm not asking anyone. I am not a chef. Definitely not a, not a professional cook. I just do things to my liking, okay? So y'all, what y'all do is make your broth. This is my broth. I put all the butter, the seasonings, everything that I needed in there, and I'm trying to let it simmer. I'm gonna add the onions, the garlic, and the mushrooms to this mix. Let that simmer, then add the mixed veggies. 
and everything else to it but you see how that brought but you know what it's going to lighten up because i'm gonna add the heavy cream and all the cream uh mushrooms and celery and different things like that so i'll show y'all the finished product okay y'all here how it's looking now so i added all of the heavy cream cream of mushrooms cream of celery the mixed veggies bell peppers onions and then all i gotta add is the cabbage the smoked meat cabbage smoked meat and the mushrooms and it's gonna be bone appetit y'all see how much room i got left i got a lot of room left to add the cabbage this is gonna all melt so i'm gonna add them five heads of cabbage okay y'all i just took these turkey legs out and they were in the oven 375 for two hours and y'all they pull off the bone they fall off the bone i said pull off the bone but they pull off the bone too so whatever fall off the bone so y'all see that so y'all gonna add that to the soup so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna uh debone this add this meat to the soup and then i will show y'all the finished product y'all y'all look at this stuff this is how your cabbage soup this should be looking when i tell y'all flavor flavor that's what you want that what you looking for hey that's what you looking for all that flavor now i'm finna make some cornbread i got Darius over here whipping up some cornbread real quick and we gonna have this bad boy for a feast bon appetit and so this is the finished product don't that look so tasty and flavorful and then i got my two heart-shaped corn on i mean what's that i about to say corn cob cornbread Yes, y'all. So, bon appetit. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. See y'all later. Bye-bye. What's up, my villa? I got a sauce. Smagalicious. Mm. I got a sauce. Smagalicious. Mm. I got a sauce. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe.